My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is The Weekly Dumb. Thank you very much for tuning in. Jake, welcome to the Olympics. Thank you guys for tuning in. LeBron carrying the flag, Washington crossing the Potomac, Storielli crossing you on the court. And with that, the sports. It's the MLB trade deadline, one of the more important times of the year for us and the company. So see ya, Olympics. Till tomorrow. Uh, The trade deadline, we've already got some good action, more action than we thought. Uh, We'll see if the big one happens. Doesn't feel like it's lining up. Uh, But we had a nice semi-controversial quote where manager Stephen Vogt so the trade deadline stinks, man. Yeah. Guys are sad. Guys get traded. You lose friends. He's kind of like last day of summer camp. Yeah. Out. He said either you're losing and you say goodbye to people or you're... The other side can be worse if you're winning and you have to say goodbye to someone who's been on the journey with you. But then he said something like, and you're adding guys who you don't know if they're going to yeah, help. That I was mean, a weird line, I thought. Soft. You know, he's a player's guy. He doesn't want to say goodbye mm-hmm. to people. Trade deadline sometimes stinks, sometimes awesome. We were just gossiping, doing like Yankees gossip. Like, would they trade for this guy? Would they trade for yeah. this guy? And I was like, trade deadline's awesome. Trade deadline's awesome. Jack Flaherty to the Dodgers. Ah! More like Steven, nope. Ooh, even though there's... Jimmy kissed him at a wedding. (laughs) Hit it, hit it. You zoom in on that, Zach? You think you can zoom in on that? stuck that. Do you have a plan out of there? You're there. Let's land it once. Get it on the microphone. I'll make a good noise, too. No, well, that's... (laughs) We did see that. You do that in your sleep, dog. Jim, this is almost a breakdown. I don't know if people are talking about. This fan at the st- in the stands, this fan. This guy. He's wearing a cowboy hat. He's with a whole group of people wearing cowboy hats. Having a good time. A ball comes his way. He grabs it. He turns. He says, you ready? Fires it into the middle of the infield. Right where Laz Diaz is standing. Former Close. Marine. Laz turns around. Oh. Like that famous ejection when... Joe West ejected the guy for saying three blind mice. He's like pointing him out. Like, Laz, you don't know where he is. Right. It was right at Laz. And he said, you ready? But you don't know the guy, Laz. Let the security do their job. Can't throw balls onto the field. That's one of the firm ones. Oh, shoot. Um, absolutely. He's the umpire. Like, get that guy out of here. You're out. Unlike your breakdown where the ump ejected someone and he's like, I don't know who I tossed, but you got to pick. I, fan can't ba- do that. Everyone in the fan base, you Come pick. Oh, that's not good. It's not bad, but it's not good. Hey, DraftKings is sponsoring this episode, and they're also sponsoring a game to 100 runs in the warehouse this Thursday. Jake and I will be playing, as will other people who will go on to be known as the losers. Losers. Tune in. Noon. Thursday. We don't stop until one team scores 100 runs. Thanks, DraftKings. Let's go back to the more sports. Jim, the headline says hockey star Matt Dawson amputates finger to play at Olympics. I'm going to get in front of this. Ice hockey and field hockey, you need to start saying your front word. Because when I found out Matt Dawson was a field hockey guy, I don't care. But that's a huge aspect to the story. He's a field hockey player for the Kookaburras. Right. And he fractured his hand. Finger. (laughs) Hurt it. And to do surgery and repair it was three weeks. Olympics only happen once every four years. He said, you know what? Cut me. He cut off his finger. Surgery knocked him out for a while. It was 10 days if they chopped it off. So he just cut it off. Yeah. Why not? He's got a little more of a nub than that. Yeah, I think it's just a top knuckle, which I can't do. Yeah, that's don't do that. Finger that nobody cares about. It's the Olympics, and they have a chance to win a medal. So, like, yeah, you chop that finger off. Yeah. What well, was this not sports, though? Yo, the not sports is this isn't crazy. You. This isn't you. The not sports is, Zach. New Jersey, man. Plug your ears. No, I don't go that far down to Wildwood. You know, because wild shit happens here. Mm. This South Jersey man's facing charges after authorities say he decapitated a seagull. What happened was, Zach, why'd you bow your head in in upsetness? Now, we're anti-bird here. It's just a lot of, we deal with a lot of dead birds. Yes, we're anti-bird. We're anti-bird. And I wanted to let the people know that there is a line and this is it. I don't think you should kill a seagull, not even decapitate it, especially not decapitate it. I don't know how he did that. We'll get into that. His name's Franklin Ziegler. He's 29 years old from Cape May. The bird tried to take his daughter's french fries and in in return he decapitated it. Yeah. I do also have another caveat. I was down on Jersey Shore for vacation. The seagulls leveled up this year. Okay. It was awful. They took stuff straight out of my hand. I didn't go around killing it. Huh. They're big, dude. Sure he must you have didn't. A, he must have had a baby seagull. Here's a story I found on the internet. Ziegler became 
irate and uncooperative with officers on an unrelated investigation. That doesn't help our guy Zeke. <laughs> to me, that I think they're like, what it's set in your hand? And he's holding something he's not supposed to be holding. Right. And then he didn't, he was like, nothing, nothing. So then they arrested him on that. Maybe the bird really was trying to kill his daughter. Yeah, I don't know about trying to kill the daughter. I mean, Ooh. definitely in your daughter's business, which I could see not liking. This guy's 29? Yeah. I don't know. I've run through the different scenarios. Like, if you grow up on a farm where the second half of an animal's life gets dealt with differently, Ooh. kill him dead. No way. <laughs> Give me a tight shot on that tongue. It's the employee, employee of, of the week, week. dude! Excited. We didn't plan that, Zach. Overly excited. The employee of the week, Ryan Cohen. Yeah. Celebrated in the office and declared that his team won the World Series. It kind of felt well, like you left. Zach. Kind of felt like he was saying they already won it. We're winning the World Series. Well, he, the, Dylan sees through no hitter. Yep. Your disc golf buddy. Yeah. And yeah, Ryan Cohen, office Padre fan. He texted one of his buddies. He said in the third inning, there's going to be no hitter. So now I think he thinks he has predictive powers. So if he says they're going to win the World Series. He predicted it. In the third inning. he did, That's still early. He texted it's going to be a perfect game and Dylan already walked someone. So it's kind of all out. Yeah. And I'll yuck his yum. I'll rain on his parade. No okay. hitter, Shmo Schmitter. Yeah. As common as a cycle. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by our good friends at DraftKings Casino. New players, it's showtime. Play $1 and get $100 in casino credits instantly. Choose from over 300 real money games, slots, blackjack, roulette, and live dealer games whenever you want. And if DraftKings Casino isn't yet available in your state, check out DraftKings Daily Fantasy app where you have a shot at winning cash prize all season long. So head to DraftKings Casino app now. New customers, sign up using promo code BIGDUMB. Play just $1 and instantly receive $100 in casino cash credits. That's Big Dumb. Look at me. I'm Matt Dawson. Put the two big fingers in your mouth. I think I lose it then. I liked it.